coming through with another video to your done Noah. So you guys, just like the description says, I bought this E46 M3 for seven thousand dollars. For seven thousand dollars, best know it did not come in perfect condition. Um, I pretty much don't really know about the major things that go wrong with the E46. I bought this as solely a risk. I always tell people um, that when you buy on risk, of course, your initial cost is going to be extremely low. Um, as you guys know, or you should know, I am very noticed and famous for buying cars that are specifically BMWs that are high mileage, but they're all fully optioned out. <laughs> you know, if you go look at my page on my YouTube page and you'll see all the cars that I've had in the past, each and every single one of them is special to some sort of degree. So I just like I just feel like buying cars at a higher mileage is just honestly a better way of spending your money. Uh, for example, buying this E46 M3, I mean, you're going to be spending upwards of $18,000, $20,000, $25,000, for an E46 M3 nowadays, you know, no matter the miles. So, and you still have to probably do the whole main, all the issues them that go with them, or right, that go wrong with them, you know. So, I feel like buying this at $7,000 was a bargain, even though I bought on a risk, all right. So, Honestly, I just want to show you guys what $7,000 <laughs> buys you on an E46. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe to the channel and everything and um, for more videos because this is a major project that I definitely plan on keeping. By the way, I do plan on keeping this. So don't inbox me or message me. Hey, I'll give you this much for it. No, I'm not taking anything like that. This is something for me for keep. At least for now because... I always I'm gonna keep my cars, but then somebody always offers me something that I can't refuse. So, but at least for right now, I'm gonna keep it. So coming in hot, as you can see. Um, honestly, I do not like the hood. I'm going to be changing the hood. If anybody wants this hood, it's a GTS carbon fiber. This is a full carbon fiber hood, by the way. Um, I'm definitely gonna be selling it. I do not want it. I want stock. That's what I'm going for. Um, but yeah, yeah it's, I'm definitely keeping the split, the splitter. Yes. Oh, I need an M3 badge right there, so. I love the rims. I love like the cabin, our own tone, if you catch my drift. The trunk is not in perfect condition. The scrapes on it, not bad. M3. I'm missing this, I'm missing this, which I'll get in this. <laughs> By the way, this exhaust sound good, you see? Super Sprint. Exhaust, why does that look like a Mustang horse? Anyways. Oh man, I love the rims on it though. Get it. Clear coat's kind of fading on the hood too. Needs to get repainted. But it's kind of crazy because the rest of the car paint look good except for the hood but yeah that's the one time around it I mean for the most part I mean seven thousand dollars and the condition is good on the outside now let me take you guys on the inside as well too oh looks like these are should I get these done too Yeah, it's not manual, okay? So, SMG. <laughs> I, honestly, and I'm gonna be dead ass, okay? It's not bad. Everybody likes to talk ish about the SMG, but it's really not that bad. Um, this car has cold AC too, so I'd be cruising. Um, I do not like the bucket seats. I'm not a fan of bucket seats. Um, I'm actually on the hunt for actual OEM M3 seats. I definitely want to sell these. So if you guys want them, let me know. Um, they're very, they're kind of comfy as well, but not to my comfort. I'd rather just stock. Um, it goes back into the back. Which, what I find really cool is um, it has one of these pump things for the bolster. Interesting. 
and yeah dove gray interior Ooh. aftermarket radio well it's what's pretty interesting is that the factory seats are actually heated so this was a pretty extremely well optioned out car um i love the little alcantara i don't even know if this, i don't know if this is factory but it's actually pretty cool um yeah for the most part this thing look good you know like i said for seven thousand dollars i'm not going to complain i'm just gonna fix yeah that's on your best done but yeah this smg isn't that bad in my opinion um the play worn <laughs> um Let's see here this is this is broken uh oh i guess this controls the radio what's this yeah all right that's work but i'm thinking about getting a double din and then move the cam climate control down yes sir and then have this big nice screen of right, right here sir so armrest is actually in good condition yeah i mean like i said for the most part it's not in the bad condition it's an okay cut well i'm not gonna put it all the way back because this thing is here but um yeah for the most part typical e46 rear so the famous let's see what's in here oh you see it's pretty much a full toolkit audio system it actually sounds pretty good no cap underneath here so random things oh it's on this side too <laughs> i'm actually gonna keep that that looks actually pretty sick whoa whoa you see it m3 again with the buckets i i don't know man like why don't people just stick with the OEM stuff? I mean, I understand. Anyways. Um, yeah, so typical E46. Not bad. I'm telling you guys. For seven grand? Yeah. No, no complaints, yo. Hey, you like it? <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Look at that. You see? M3 Nation, you see it? Ugh, let's see what's underneath the hood. I know you guys are interested. What's underneath the hood? Is it a real M3? Of course it is. Inline 6, 3.2 liter engine. This is an M engine, S54. Yeah, as you can see, the car's on coilovers. But it's kind of cool because you can actually adjust the dampering lit. The car does have headers and an intake i mean i'm gonna change this intake i know you guys want to know how this thing sound as well as crack on the lights that come up on the dash y'all see it what's a check engine light i don't know what that is that's just a washer fluid light <laughs> This is my seven thousand dollar e46 m3 um more videos to come please like and subscribe to the channel um i'm definitely gonna be uploading a lot more things on this m3 all right you guys have a good one stay positive